It's almost time. Yeah, it is. A year flew by, didn't it? I feel like a year is so long, though. Hey, Tatsuya. Hmm? You still feel the same? Neither of us are popular at all, are we? That's not an answer. I wasn't lonely. Huh? You remember how I was kind of in a hurry? You and me both, Yukina? Yeah, that's why we had that promise. But a year after that promise, I never felt lonely at all. I didn't feel like I needed to be in a rush at all. That was all thanks to you being around me. Whoa, slow down there. Huh? It sounds like you're asking me out. It's not set in stone yet, we said a year. It's going to be a year next weekend. You never know. We might get a huge reverse sweep. There's still a few days left. When there wasn't for a year? You never know what's going to happen in life. I see. But if nothing happens, we have to fulfill our promise. Yeah. The day of. Let's go on a date, huh? You aren't going for the reverse sweep either, are you? Well, that's a different story. Don't change the subject either. What do you say to the date? Not at all. I mean, okay then. Where did you want to go? Huh? The date. I don't care as long as you're there. Next weekend, we would be dating. Neither of us said it out loud, but we were pretty sure. That was a year ago. It had been a few months since high school had started. It was completely different than when I started middle school. Everyone was kind of getting ready to become adults. Hey, Tatsuya! What? We have a problem. What happened? Can you not tell a difference in the classroom? No. That was rhetorical. Think a little bit before answering. Hmm? I don't know. Doesn't the air seem... pink? Huh? Is this some kind of weird fantasy? That's weird, man. No, you moron. I mean, not completely. What do you mean? Look at Murai. Doesn't he seem different? Did he cut his hair like an eighth of an inch? I don't know about that. Then what? Doesn't he seem... manly? You think so? How can you tell if he's cut an eighth of an inch of his hair, but not that he's acting more confident? What's your point? He's a man! What are you talking about? He's always been a man. Not biologically! You really kind of dense, are you? He did what God intended with his girlfriend. He's no longer a child. What? Not just Murai. Many people seem to have found themselves partners during summer vacation. Too fast, don't you think? Apparently, we are too slow. No. This is the reality we are facing. What do we do? It's simple. We find ourselves girlfriends. Yo, what are you two talking about? Ah! You scared me! <laughs> you don't have to be so surprised. Or were you two talking about something that you didn't want me to hear? Uh, no. Could it be any more suspicious? What was it? Something dirty? No! Later, Tatsuya! This is your problem now! But, hey, don't run away! <sighs> So, what were you two talking about? Have you ever thought about maybe being a little considerate? Or having an ounce of decency? Totally. All the time. You're lying. Tatsuya, you said that you were fine with me. Oh yeah. I did. We're friends already. I started getting along with Yukina Watanabe when I started high school. Afterwards... We sometimes went home together. We apparently live in the same area. So, what were you two talking about? It's nothing. Seriously. I see. It's something you can't tell me about. I said no earlier. I think it's something dirty. 
I said no. You're so persistent. I'm not going to be grossed out, you know? I have an older brother, and he's always talking about dirty things and making dirty jokes. It's borderline sexual harassment. Huh. I didn't know you had an older brother. You're an only child? Yeah. Are you... happy? About what? That I'm like a younger sister and don't have any other sisters. It's like a thing for boys, right? Some kind of weird younger sister fantasy thing? No. What? Come on, the mangas that my older brother reads always have that kind of stuff. What's he reading? Just so you know, there are no sisters that come out and tell everyone how much they love their older brothers. Even if they do exist, it was because they're trying to get money out of them. It's like a sales pitch. I love you, big bro. In parentheses, your money. That's not nice. So, what were you guys talking about then if it wasn't about that? I get even more curious when you try to hide it from me. So, like, um... Yes? Murai-kun found a girl. Oh, okay. So, you're basically upset that you're alone because no one loves you. Yeah, we'll go with that. People really did start dating after high school, huh? Yeah. So we're all kind of in a hurry to find someone. You want someone? I mean... I think it would be fun, you know? I see. You got anyone you like? I mean, yeah, but... So you don't care who it is? You know... You can be really blunt sometimes. But that's what you're saying, right? What about you? I want one, but I don't have anyone I like. I see. But I do think I need to hurry, since everyone else is dating too. It definitely feels like we're being left behind. Then how about we just go out, hmm? What? <laughs> Look at you being surprised. Why would anyone not be surprised? I don't mean right away. What do you mean? In a year. A year? We just start high school. I think we'll meet more people. So one year. Let's stay friends for a year. If we don't find anyone in a year, we date. How's that sound? What, kind of like that whole, if I don't find anyone till 30, then let's get married kind of deal? Exactly that. Okay, sure. Let's go with that. It's settled then. That's how we made a vow that afternoon. We still didn't meet anyone for a year. And I basically spent that year with Yukina. For example, during the summer... Take that! That ah, Salty! Take that! Time out! No timeouts! It's in my mouth now! My throat hurts! Hey, wanna have a duel? What kind of duel? We see who can swim to that place over there and come back first. Sure. I think I'm gonna win, though. You're confident, I'll give you that. I mean, I'm a guy. Ready, set, go! Not fair! Handicap! And summer flew by. Continuing on. Fall. Look at the leaves. It's so red. Pretty cool. I like fall the most. Why? It's comfortable. I mean, true. What season do you like most? I like... summer, I think. Why? Oh, it's so hot. That's what's nice. It feels like the world is alive. I don't understand that at all. And there goes fall. This time, winter. Ugh, my hands are so cold. You're using your bare hands to play with snow. I mean, what am I supposed to do? What do you mean? There's snow, I can't not make a snowman. You're kind of a kid, huh? Here. What is this? My hands are getting itchy from getting too cold. So? Warm them up. You're pretty spoiled, too. No, no, I'm good at being spoiled. Get it right? I did. Mm, shut up. So? Is this good enough for you, princess? Mm, yeah. What's wrong? N no, 
this is a... What? It's kind of embarrassing. You're the one that asked for it. I guess I'll stop then. No, hold. I'm embarrassed, but I, I, I don't mind it. Okay then. Okay. I think it's getting warmer. Good to know. Your hands are bigger and harder than mine. Your fingers are so skinny and pretty though. I mean, I guess. Very manly. I felt warm. Even during the cold winter. Then we had our second spring together. I feel so relieved. Me too. What are you relieved about? Well... Yeah? You know... I do, but... I want you to say it. Because we're in the same class. <laughs> Me too. Yeah. It's almost time. What is? The promise. The wind blew. But it wasn't cold at all anymore. The cherry blossoms were in full bloom. And spring was spurring us along. Before you knew it, the seasons flew by us. The day a year was going to pass. I had promised Yukina I'd go on a date with her. We both told each other about our feelings. I'm a little shy to say that we like each other. But we're definitely going to be dating each other. I think I came a little too early. It was right in that moment that my phone vibrated. It was Yukina. Hello? Hey, Tatsuya. Are you still home? Yeah, of course. I lied. But I couldn't say that I was too excited and was already waiting. Good. <coughs> Are you sick? I have a fever now. I thought I could push through it, but you know how today's a weekend. My family is all here and I can't leave. Why would you try to leave when you have a fever anyway? Well... I see. You were that excited to go on a date with me, huh? Mm, yeah... It was a quiet voice. But I heard it loud and clear. I could feel my face getting warm. Uh, how horrible are you at taking care of yourself? You chose the worst time to get sick, didn't you? Seriously. Maybe it's my fault that I did a little fashion show last night. A fashion show? Yeah. I wanted you to say that I was cute. Uh, sure. You're awfully flirty when you have a fever. You think so? Yeah, maybe. Uh, whatever. You just need to rest up. We can go on a date another day. Okay, um... What? It's going to be a day late, but... Can you wait? Of course. <laughs> Thanks. We hung up. My face was definitely warm. It wasn't like we were dating. I hadn't even seen her today. I could feel my heart, my body, reaching to her. Ugh, I'm going home. Hey you, cutie! Excuse me? Ah, you do look like my type. Um, what's going on? Whoa, don't be alarmed, buddy. I think anyone would be alarmed by some stranger talking to them. I see, you're not used to this kind of thing. What kind of thing? Flirting. Flirting? <laughs> Don't be so surprised. Are you teasing me? Nope, I'm serious. I heard you talking on the phone, but your partner didn't show up because she had a fever, right? Want to hang out with me instead? Uh, no thanks. Why? What do you mean, why? Am I not your type? Uh, no, I think you're pretty. Really? Well then, let's go somewhere. Wait, hang on! What? Oh, my name! It's Sakamoto. You can call me Sakamoto-chan. She had complete control of the flow of conversation. I couldn't turn her down. I was now hanging out with Sakamoto-chan instead of Yukina. Then, when the weekend was over, 
I'm sorry about yesterday. Oh, it's fine. You don't have a fever anymore? I'm totally fine. Yukina started talking to me. Anyway, you're acting funny. Are you mad? No. Then, what is it? Nothing. That was not a nothing moment. Spit it out. I told her everything that happened. That I was already there by the time she called. That Sakamochan had talked to me. And I went on a date with her. I didn't tell her that I had fun. After we finished talking, she spoke up. I'm done. Huh? That was the deal. If we found someone, we wouldn't date. Well... You found someone. I like someone, but... Don't. Congrats. Wait! No! I said wait! No! What is it now? You want to make me more upset? Just shut up and listen! You're misunderstanding! <laughs> what am I misunderstanding? I do like someone. But it kind of goes against our promise. So we don't have to follow it. But that girl is you! <laughs> but you said you went on a date with a different girl! Yeah, it was fun. But it was weird. I knew from that date that I wanted you. I told her I wasn't interested in her either. Let me tell you again. I wanted to ask her out correctly. But I knew if I tried to put it off any later, it would get more complicated. I just pushed forward. I want you. Please go out with me. That's not fair. I know. We went on a date with a different girl. Not fair. I don't forgive you. Sorry. But it was my fault that I got sick. So you don't have to forgive me either. And it seems like I like a boy too, so we can call it even. In other words? You really need me to tell you? Sorry. <sighs> I'm saying yes. Huh? Let's go out. I like you too. It's not about the promise. I just like you, so I want to clap with you. Really? Of course. Yes! Wait, Tatsuya. I'm so happy. Thank you. Okay, you're happy. You're also embarrassing me. Tough luck. Oh, you child. All's well that ends well. The next weekend... We started going on the date that we couldn't go on before. Morning! Oh, you're here early. We've still got over an hour left. I could say the same thing to you, Tatsuya. If I don't come early, someone might get asked out while I wasn't here again, and someone might not say no. Ouch! Is the sniping necessary? Of course. I have a right to be jealous. I'm your girlfriend now. You have a point. By the way, I was flirted with while you weren't here. Wait, really? What, are you upset? I was waiting for you. You know what I said. I mean, yeah, but... Are you happy your girlfriend is popular? If you're embarrassed, don't say things like that. Mm, I'm not embarrassed. But your face is red. That's because I have a fever. Yeah, you're lying. Why? Because you're very flirtatious and honest when you have a fever. You're saying I'm not being honest? Yeah, clearly. Not true. Yeah, okay, sure. Whatever. We're finally here. Let's go on our date, huh? Ugh. What are you so cranky about? It was at that moment that she got up on her tiptoes and put her hand on my chest. I could hear her soft voice in my ear. Hey, Tatsuya. I like you. What was that? <laughs> See? Honest. Yeah, okay. You've made your point. I lost. Very well. Let's go on our date, huh? Let's. So, where should we go? I really haven't looked anything up. 
I told you before. She smiled before saying to me, I'll go anywhere with you. <laughs>